What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know most of you are here for the Range Rover and I'm going to go back to turning wrenches and get this thing fixed up and back on the road. But I, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. What's going on, Warwick County? Uh, Sergeant Grimes, Murder Beach Army Recruiting Office, and we got a special guest for you guys today. He's going to be here all week. Uh, Private Chance for Sean, recently back from BASIC and AIT, and uh, we're going to get a little bit about his backstory. He got one of the best MOS that you can find in the Army, so he's going to talk a little bit about that. But uh, first, Private Sean, relax. Um, first, tell us where. Where you were born and raised? Where'd you go to high school? All that good stuff. I was born and raised in California, San Diego. Then I uh, graduated from Conway High School here in South Carolina. I uh, graduated last year, 2020. Uh, so tell us about your MOS. What is your MOS, your job? Uh, my job is a 31 kilo. I'm a dog handler. So we call it MWD, military working dog handler. Uh, we can detect bombs overseas, uh, IEDs, we're in the front lines, or we can be in the states on post finding bombs or drugs. Awesome. That's awesome, man. So uh, where'd you go to basic training? Uh, Fort Leonard in Missouri. Uh, people call it Fort Lost in the Woods. <laughs> Pretty fun. It was really cold, but it was worth it. It's cold. <laughs> what was your favorite part about basic? Favorite part? Probably the rappel tower and the gas chamber. I really had fun in that. <laughs> had fun in the gas chamber. <laughs> All right. So where was your, uh, your AIT? Was it the same location or? Uh, the first part of my AIT, my MP train, was in uh, Fort Linwood, but then my second part was Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. Okay, so you, so you, tr you uh, transferred to Lackland halfway through your training, or once you completed your MP training, then you went to Lackland for your dog part. Dog Sorry. handling, okay. Awesome, man. So did you, how much did you get to work with the dogs in your training? Uh, every day when I went to Lackland, every day we were with the dog. And I went no matter if it was raining, we just wait for it to stop raining, work with the dog 24 7 all day, every day. Awesome. With the awesome. So, um, how was your experience so far with the Army basic training, AIT, the training portion? How, how have you enjoyed the entire experience? Uh, I enjoy it a lot. It's fun, a good experience so far. I've like, learned so much already. Uh, love the benefits. Thank you about the benefits. Uh, I think all, all around, just something anyone can do, anyone would love, especially if the job like mine or anyone else, like if you like mechanics, like uh, HRAP, anything like that, just going to do the stuff and you go work every day and enjoy your job. I love it. A lot of people when I talk to that basic, they love their job, they're like excited to do it. I saw in contact with some people and they just love it. Absolutely, man. So, uh, so where are you gonna be stationed? Uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Going to Fort Campbell. Are you excited? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, well, appreciate your time, man. And, and Private Person will be here with us all week. So you guys want to get the story straight from him, stop by and see us. Uh, Coastal Grandma, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you. Flowering my hand, and I said, knock on the door, I said, hey, can I plant this flower in your backyard? <laughs> and... And he said no. Um, but before he could leave, I said, hey, can I, can I know why? And he said, well, I Let me show you guys some of the work I've been doing on my 16-year-old Silverado. So I actually had a bunch of hail damage. As you can see, some of it on the fender here. But it was all across the hood. Um, I actually put some body filler, sanded it, put some body filler, primer, 
and I tried the plastic dip. Uh, it came out pretty good, but as you can see, I started to run out so you can kind of see the patchiness. Um, this is all with rattle cans, so it wasn't all that great. Same with the roof. Uh, I should have done a little more prep work, and I just ran out of plastic. It was just too much, uh, too many of the rattle cans. So, but all, overall, it came out a lot better. I probably should have taken the video before. Um, but yeah, it came out pretty, you know, decent for what for what it was. Um, definitely, I'm happy with the body work. It's my first time messing with body filler, so uh, I'm kind of happy with it. You know, body work. Um, you can see it's pretty. Not bad, not bad for uh, my first time doing body work. I also uh, painted the wheels flat back, flat black. I uh, wish I would've got some more video, but uh, that's gonna be the next. I'm gonna fix some uh, some of these, uh, some of this hail damage on the fenders and also on the other side. As you can see, she's super rough on this side. She had a little mishap a couple years back and I just haven't got around to fixing it. So uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can I can get this, uh, get this dent as good as possible. Uh, and fill it in and definitely all this i can i can patch up with body filler so that's going to be in the next video um probably before or after the range roller video but um yeah i'm, I'm going to show you guys you know what i do for that I'm trying to fix it up so that's pretty much it for the office work for today uh, i'm going to head to the house uh, go have some dinner with the kiddos um but i hope you guys like this little vlog video um there's something different i thought i'd take you guys with me I'm gonna be getting back on the Range Rover and doing some body work on my on my 16 year old Silverado here. So um, definitely, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. Um, and I appreciate it. Let me know if you guys like this video. I'll try to do some more for you. Um, but that's it. Have a great day and cherish life. Enjoy your liberty. Pursue your happiness.